Hey everybody, welcome to the Koch File. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, just a heads up guys, I'm going to be traveling to see my son um, this coming week. So I'm probably not going to be posting anything, but I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July or wherever you are in the world. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, I look forward to getting back together with you guys when I get back. So she is actually on live now so i'm taking advantage of this and i'm going to comment i kind of rewinded it but she's still live and i'm um, going to see what she's up to i don't think the chat will be synced up because she's live so the comments aren't going to be synced up so i'm going to actually turn them off okay let's do it <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, Ted. Hi, USB. You're on live multiple times a day for hours. How can you miss anyone? You've been busy, I see. Well, that's good. Keeping busy is the key. Hi, Iris. How many calories in this? Like What's a three centimeter cube? Why is it measuring three centimeter wash, cube on sliced cheese? Cleaning the kitchen. How am I supposed to measure that? Taking care of the cats. Cleaning out your car. There's a lot of things you could be doing lot of to keep yourself busy. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Let me just tell and you yes, guys. Yes, Iris, I am. You're probably going to hear thunder in the background. <clears throat> we are having uh, quite the storm pass through our town right now. So I'm hoping the power will stay on. So bear with me. Uh, in contact with. I don't know if it's like a holiday or what, but. It seems like nobody's returning my phone calls, but. I'm okay right now. I'm not in like a crisis mode or anything. Um, I'm still not quite understanding why she doesn't go to her family doctor. I mean, if any of you have any experience with this type of a situation, what would make someone not go to their family doctor? They have some concerns, but it would instead be calling a a clinic that doesn't know anything about her. I mean. I don't know like I don't know how it all works but I mean she looks okay I mean she has concerns I think the easiest thing to do is to call your family doctor because they really know you best and then they can kind of point you where you need to go but I don't know maybe I'm wrong Whenever more people come in here what the hell did you get nobody's getting a notification for this are they because Hi, you go online oh, yeah, it's Canada 50, Day today. I forgot times about a day. <laughs> I forgot about Canada Day. How can you forget about Canada Day? You're in Canada. Mm. <laughs> I'm craving some spicy <clears throat> black bean noodles. Mm. <laughs> I forgot. Like I knew it was Canada Day, but... I forgot. Any of you guys try the Times 2 uh, spicy noodles? The I'm Korean noodles? Olives. I haven't tried it yet. I get the spicy one, but it's not that one. Hi, Tara Marie. Booger sugar. What's that mean? They're booger, calling me booger? Sugar. Oh boy, they're calling her booger. Hi, Farrell. Hi, Misha. I have to say, some of the people in her chat come out with some funny so, names. I want to wait for more people to come in so I don't have to repeat myself over and over, but it's like, it's going to take a while because of the notification. 
Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Amber. I don't know if ever, but anybody, you know, in our state, it's legal mm. medically. And they have this new one. It's made by Double Bear. It's a vape. And Five it's minutes. an indica called Hash Haze. Yeah. I have to say this brand, Double Bear, is really good. I really like <laughs> it. There will probably be fireworks tonight. What are you doing for, uh, you guys doing for July 4th? I'm going to be out west. Really, Carol? Which out one? California, though. Thank God. I don't know. I didn't see that. Why are you furious, Aggie? Well, there's always somebody who's Just furious in the chat. Wah, wah, Hi, wah. Ashley. doing a lot better today. <clears throat> That's good to hear. Uh. I wish you guys could see my dog. I had a dog when I, morning, have... I just missed it. When I have the opportunity to <coughs> post an actual picture and I post my dog during a thunderstorm, poor thing, his little eyes. Aww. <laughs> it's interesting, she always forgets. <coughs> I'm sorry, Ooh, I drank something. She always forgets like doctor's appointments and stuff, but she sure doesn't forget eating her food and taking her weed and oh. doing her drugs. Right, because addiction is my fault, fly on the wall. Right. <coughs> Sorry. Addiction is not your fault, obviously. But the the activities that you partaked in put you in a questionable environment in which it presented those temptations to someone who has a highly addictive personality. <clears throat> if you're just here to shame me, I'm just going to block you. Honestly, I don't need that right now. Seriously. Why is everything shame? So if you call someone out, you know, call it for what it is, which is what I typically do. When you call somebody out for what they're, they're doing, why is that shame? Like to me, shame is more in the context of, you know, belittling and, you know, that type of a thing. But when you're openly questioning someone's what someone's saying by the facts that were presented previous to this by that individual, I don't look at it as shaming. I look at it as calling it for what it is and holding someone accountable and letting someone see themselves through the other side. How is addiction someone's fault? Textbook. Tell me that. Do people choose to have addictions? I don't think so. I've never had an addiction, so no I cannot No one's shaming speak me? Have you topic. seen the internet lately? And fly mm. on a wall? Just did. Peeper. Fly Does this sound like wall. shaming to you? Okay. Just here to say heck you for putting Pete through this. Like yeah, I chose yeah. to be yeah, this I didn't way. even think of that one. People are so ignorant. 
See, in, in this particular area, it's like you wonder if someone's trying to play the victim card a little too much. You know, now now she's getting all feisty about Pete's and putting him through that. And she's almost like, well, like as if it was my fault. Well, okay, let's look back. Um, you met up with some random crackhead on a dating site, um, did all kinds of activities and junk and all this stuff on a mattress on the floor. Um, he broke your TV. You stalked him at his apartment. I mean, look, could we go on and on and on? Yeah. Taking responsibility for my actions and shaming me into it is not going to help. Okay? So, like I said, if you're just here... Again, is it shaming someone into it when you're saying, but the other day... You leaned on the side of your desk and snorted a line of cocaine, or you were running to the bathroom uh, multiple times, and then and then she admits that she had done those things, and then today you're pointing that out, and she's saying you're shaming her. Something to think about. I don't know. To do that, and no matter what I say, people are not going to believe me. So I'm not going to sit here and explain myself all day about what I'm doing, calling counselors and everything like that. Welcome to life, Chantal. At any moment, someone could be questioning you. <clears throat> so, hi, Natty. <clears throat> yeah. Please block the rude people. Yeah, seriously, like. Exactly. <clears throat> These people claim to care and then like the minute you like do bad, they turn against you for their own benefit. I don't believe that people necessarily turn against you. Well, the majority at least. They're simply stating the facts. They want you to face who you are. That's a very difficult thing for people to do, to really look at themselves. And it really does hurt when your best friend sits down with you and tells you to your face something you don't want to hear, but you already know about yourself. It's because you don't want to hear from anybody else. You want to live in a you know, habitual denial of everything make profit off of your situation you know like people are like you're monetizing your addiction i'm sharing my life which is monetized yeah because this is my job and what i'm she's allowed to monetize this activity and behavior and all this stuff that <laughs> it's technically illegal everywhere but people who commentary or respond questioning her don't have that right going through like, I'm not you ashamed can't monetize. To You're not allowed. I'm not going to act ashamed of it. I'm um, sorry, my voice sounds raspy. I'm, I'm going to continue so to try today. to get help for it. <laughs> I'm like so, so relaxed right now. That's all I can do, you know? How are people shaming me? Have you seen my comments? <laughs> you guys are crazy if you don't think that. You dirty... I think that we really need to get a clear definition of the difference between shaming and pointing out the obvious. Addict, or why are you putting Pete through this? You're such a liar. Blah, blah, blah. Well, No, I'm monetizing you do all my, my videos. I have a right to. And plus, reaction channels who talk about it, they're monetizing it too. So yes. they're profiting yes, off of it are, too. Yes, we are, my darling. So, I'm not talking about my son said to me which i thought was interesting he's not you know into the drama stuff but i said yeah i'm so happy you know i've seen these comments in my channel and people liking my videos and watching them and it's so exciting and my son turned to me and goes well mom everybody loves drama <laughs> and i was thinking yeah he has a point right and she definitely gives us the drama. You make your toast. Uh, 
And that's the thing. <clears throat> because they're addicting, they're shaming me for being a, a drug addict. Oh my god. She's so All lucky. I'm along She's goodbye. so lucky I'm high right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Obviously, aye, aye, aye. my issues bother you Does so much. Does anybody notice that people today are extremely <clears> thin skinned <throat> and offended? I don't lie to my audience to pay for drugs. God, the way my That's parents used to talk to me when I was young, you guys couldn't survive. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah, the chat is toxic for sure. I might, like, just, like, not live stream for a while. I don't know. trying medical kitten like you know keep trying people act like i'm doing this on purpose that's what the thing is like well you know no. i mean we have a right to question that part i mean mm. when you go to someone's Love crack it. house to hang out with a crack head and you hang around doing mm, um yeah Why do you surround yourself with that type of an environment? As a grown woman who's what, 38? I didn't skip anything feel some... today. I didn't have an appointment today. I, I left a message yesterday with intake. Nobody even called me back, number so one. So she had an appointment. Left she two messages today. Nobody's called me back. I don't know if it's Canada Day or what. She but... called them and they did not call And I don't back. feel like I'm in crisis right now, so... So if, okay, uh -huh. okay, 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 you guys heard her, right? I don't think I'm in crisis right now. What does that mean? So she spent the day supposedly calling all these clinics for recovery. She's been doing this, searching these things out, yet she doesn't feel like there's any type of urgent matter that she feels okay huh interesting no i didn't wow it's an hour and 41 Hi, minutes and there she is still alive bless your heart chantal this is gonna be a long night for me Mm. <laughs> okay guys for some side entertainment i got these new slippers you know the really fluffy ones that cr crisscross in the front they're really Hi, comfortable and i'm so loving them <laughs> i got these like purple ones oh my god they're so nice Hey, Joel. Nothing. Hi, seamstress. <clears throat> I am seeking help. Good. I personally would like to see her deep dive into therapy. I mean, really, really dive into it and dissect herself a bit. Hi, She'd Kristen. be surprised at what she sees. And I do think that it would benefit her in the end. It would be yeah, very painful to do. But it would benefit her. I talk to Bibi a lot. That won't um, solve the problem, but it's nice that you have that support. And then today I talked to some family. Good.
I wish I could put the chat, but it's not going to line up. I answered your question. I'll keep them on just for the hell of it. <clears throat> Hard to quit. Yes, it is. Um, I don't really want to talk about it right now, Joe, honestly. I was thinking of going for a drive. I want to go to Orange Julep. It's really nice out. She can't remember doctor's and appointments when to take her medicine, like but she wants us to join her I don't to know. get some I was thinking orange about it. juice. I don't even know if I'm saying <sighs> Freaking hell. Woman. But yeah, I keep forgetting it's Canada, so I'll probably be busy there. She lives in Canada, does not know it's Canada Day. Hmm. Yeah, I think so, Natty G. I think it is. They're probably not closed. They're, like, never closed. Yeah, Amber. Yeah, maybe I... Well, I can walk, too, when I'm there. You know? Or maybe, like, go for a nice walk, like, downtown or something. How many? What's one seventh of the loaf? Two slices? <clears throat> I had two slices. How many calories? It says one seventh, of, one seventh of the loaf. And I had two slices. So would that be like one? She's waiting for us to all figure out the calculation I just weighed myself today about 331. Because she can't do it, obviously. My goodness, things calm down. Just like she'll ask us, huh, did I eat anything yesterday? The slices are all different sizes. I love Starbucks, I go every day. <laughs> Joe's so anti-Starbucks. Thanks, World Traveler. Yes, yes, they are out there. Um, the anti-Starbucks but... people. They're out there. I'm trying to keep up with it in a healthier manner. So. Bravo. That's what I'm trying to do. This is probably going to be like my longest video. Because <laughs> um, it's weird. I'm reacting, you know, while she's live. Though I rewinded it. <clears throat> Let's see if she's still on. By eating more yep. food. Still on. Not until they're closed, Ashley. No, friends don't let friends drink Starbucks. You always say that, Joe. weekend i don't remember i have to check my i don't think i have really much planned. poor amber but and Becky. anyways i just wanted to come on here um i've decided that story. i'm not going to do any live streams or videos that i'm not sober in like i'm going to be completely sober on every does that mean that you're going to have times where you're not sober because you just said that you will not go on live, not sober. So shall we assume that on the times when you're not live, that you are intoxicated? Re live stream, and that includes like edibles, whatever. Um, good, very especially good. Especially for now. So, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Halloween, Andy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to,
So, I'm gonna go get ready. Yay. I know. Like, there's like a 10 pound fluctuation. I think a lot of it's probably like, I don't know, depending on what I eat the day before, like water, I don't know. Maybe the scale. It was interesting. The other day I decided, I wanted to see, because everybody talks about how Amber Lynn and Foodie Beauty and such will manipulate the scale to project a number that we want to hear and they want to put out there. So I used my scale and I kind of, while I was weighing myself, I shifted myself different ways, kind of like shifted my hips a little bit and let go of some weight on one side. And I have to tell you, it did fluctuate about t like 10 pounds. Like that was the most I saw. And I was surprised by that. So I realized the importance of me when I step on the scale is to make sure I'm very balanced on it to get an accurate weight. <laughs> Tell me if you've ever experienced that, a fluctuation like that on a scale by movement. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm completely straight right now. Completely high on cheese and bread. That's it. Mm, and no more and beezing, yeah. no more bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, very, very good. I know I can do this. You can do it. Stay focused, Good consistent, after crankiness. <laughs> and positive, and you'll do it. I don't think you guys are enabling me. I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, everyone thinks that anyone... Oh no, nothing is enabling like when you see comments in the chat that act, asked what size, what amount of uh, the cocaine they, um, that she had, or asking what the cost was, or even where she got it. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't um, make someone think about it, no. Who supports me as an enabler, and that's just... Therapy, yes, like absolutely. That type of comment could be a trigger for someone. I agree. I would imagine with an addiction. And I'm trying to get in with a good addictions counselor. Um, I've left Very messages good. with a few intake centers. It could be that you're not in an urgent situation. So whoever calls me back, I guess, probably will call tomorrow after the holiday. I don't know. Um, yeah. I have no, I have no more stuff, Peeper. For real, I don't. Mm. I, I choose <laughs> to wait a little bit and yeah, yeah, see what I think about that one. Um, I am sorry for not being honest with everybody. Um, Why do I feel like I've heard that line before? That she was sorry. That she wasn't straight with us before. I really feel like I've heard this before, and I'm sure I have. It's not something to be, something easy to be honest about, honestly, even with myself. So, yeah. But I'm not going to. How oh, hard to say clean. That's why one second of a time. That's why I say make new friends. Yeah. True, Marie. It's PBJ. I gotta clean my room. There's clothes everywhere. You ever yeah. do that? Like, are we surprised at all? Just, like, no. All <laughs> Chantal. But I'm gonna. I've got never gonna give up. I don't know if they're clean. I don't know if they're dirty. <laughs> continue to make a better life for myself. I just think. Please do. Please do. Hi, Miss ATX. Yeah, me neither. This is new for me. <laughs> Hi, Tam Joe. Thank you. He's a happy boy. I'm not going to be sorry, but keep doing it. That's addiction. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, like, trying to use that as an excuse, but that's what it is. Like, I'm not doing it because I want to lie to you. Like, not because I want to do it. Trust me, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do it. 
but I had a, I had a weak moment yesterday and yesterday I felt like right from when I got up that I really wanted to do it today I don't feel like that at all like today I feel like I want to really try hard to you know <clears throat> I don't enjoy that kind of I want to believe to you toast. and I hope you do um, uh, over something that serious that's not true I know people perceive me that way but that's not true Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I was asking for money and laughing. Excuse me, when? I don't think so. I don't remember that. But maybe. Yeah, Raquel, I know. I'll tell you honestly, I, there's videos where she's like laying on the llama or looking like she's totally like, woo, like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the patience. What I'll do is I'll kind of speed through it to see if there's anything in it. And then I'll go past. I'll speed through the other one and go past. I just don't have the patience. to. I know some people do commentary on every single video. But I like selecting videos that like have enough content for me to have something <laughs> to think or say or anything. Or for us to even have a dialogue over and I know sometimes these videos that Chantal does are painfully long, noisy, annoying, and at times disgusting and disturbing. Um, at least I can in some way speed you through it um, more at, with some entertainment involved in it. So, you know, that's why I don't do every video. It, it's, it's a lot of Chantal. You know what I mean? I am I, I'm seeking professional help. Very good. Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna speed ahead a little bit. Now oh, she's picking her nose. Okay. Oh, she has now landed on the llama. I'm so tired. Hi, Pearson. A load of gears in that Just room. Just mentally oh, boy. tired. I want to shower. Yes, please. It'll make you feel better. <clears throat> if, you know, you have to. I think I should shower and we should go for a nice walk. Yeah, good idea. But you have to drive two hours away. <clears throat> I'm not rolling my eyes at you guys. <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes at myself. I'm not, wait, I'm not rolling my eyes at you guys. I'm rolling my eyes at myself. <laughs> Food. Have Hi. any of you rolled your eyes at yourself? <laughs> oh, that's a new one. Walk, walk, walk. I, I, I really want to walk today, actually. I okay, feel like so I want to like... get off your llama and walk. You know. No, Joe does not. Can someone, like, get her a selfie stick? And she can, like, walk around with this. I have one. They're awesome. Walk around with that selfie stick. Hi, and if she Katie. wants, she can take us on her walk. Oh, yeah. She's going to go around the it. complex. I don't know, maybe everybody in the apartment's like knows, knows her and are scared of her or something. <laughs> we don't want to have that drama near us. Oh, Lord. Get some fresh air. Yes, get some <clears throat> fresh air. Maybe a nice walk. Um, Yeah, Joe always calls me out. Exactly. <laughs> he calls me out more and than my haters. Good. That's so. good, Chantal. You need that Excuse in me. <laughs> oh. When the craving kicks in, I'm going to go live so that I'm accountable. Or to call somebody, one of my... Uh, I don't know, like, I'm thinking of my conversations I had with people who experience this, and is the craving that long? Like, I mean, she, if she's only been using it, the, like, the past four weeks, doing, what, an eight, eight ball, they say you can do that in a day or something? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of people I can talk to, but... 
talking to me about it doesn't that matter topic. how many people like are willing to help old. me how no many people clue, care about like me anything about that stuff that sub- it's all down to me substances you know so you all can like laugh at me when i make mistakes and my facts <laughs> when it comes to that stuff is marissa here hi marissa you have to want to change i do i i i don't want to no Happy Canada Day, Isabella. I know, Peeper. I'm not happy about being dishonest about this. Thanks, Harvey. That is so much. I've done a lot. I've done more than that before, Peeper. Going into rehab, um, yeah, if it's needed, which it probably, I don't know. No, I have a doctor. I had a doctor's appointment, but it was yesterday at 12 and I slept. Yeah, I fell asleep. yeah, yeah. We're not, we're yeah, not surprised you. Ages, that you slept. Together, get help, go to treatment, stop this. I because mean, we know, know huh, that's situation. interesting. So I wonder what doctor's appointment she had. I, I don't know. But I'm thinking if it was some type of a medical doctor, you know, not like a psychiatrist or something, maybe a, a general practitioner or something, um, that, she, that would have been the perfect opportunity for her to have that conversation to say, hey, you know, I, I have a situation here and I need to talk about it and I need help. Don't you think? Don't you think that she would have really made a point to make that appointment? I think she could have. That would have been perfect. I mean, unless it was like, you know, you're going to, I don't know, a skin doctor or something that's different. But I'm curious, you know, what, what doctor she was going, she was actually going to see if it was an actual medical doctor. That's more today. Yes, I agree, Sarah. I agree. Thanks, Trixie. Yes. I know somebody, Donna, rehab in Canada. Yeah. Um, I know somebody who had to pay, like, it was like thousands of dollars. So we are, well, I'm going to go forward a little bit. Yes. Because we are already... I, I know what I did was really, really like 38 stupid minutes into this. Wow. Wow. And I'm not doing it. <clears throat> yeah, I know. And I could have skipped over some good points. But, really, you know, Dutch food? This is kind of long. Okay. Okay, Savage. And, you know, the llama sessions messy, either can be very interesting uh, or horrible. What do you want to look at? She is now taking us the on the ceiling? balcony off of her okay. bedroom. Hi. Okay, so she's, she's oh, so she's putting us in position because she's I'm about to neglect her audience at 1, 10, 1 hour and 10 minutes into the video. She comes back at around... Uh, eight forty-two. Uh, one hour and eight minutes. Sorry, it wasn't that long. Okay. Right. I need glasses. So I look now like she's the wearing Mona Lisa. a black blouse with red flowers, putting some earrings on that seem a little big. But what do I know? Danny, make Ashley I'm a Gen a Xer. Pronto. You know, we're all, all our no more, own no more handies creatures. for you. I don't care much about what anybody thinks. Oh, I didn't uh, wash my hair. Because, fuck that. You know what? You know why I don't want to do it as often now? It takes me forever to put my hair fibers. It's actually, well, okay. if you didn't have all that product in your hair and you actually took care of it properly, um, it is actually a better idea not to wash your hair every single day, especially when you're having hair loss issues because... That whole movement of shampooing your hair and then combing it and all that, that has a tendency of pulling hair out. 
you want to avoid those types of things as much as possible. So you, if you can, I mean, some people can't, right? Some people have to wash their hair every day because their scalp, I guess, produces more oil or something. My hair is super dry, so I can go several days without washing my hair and it looks fine reading comments on like a hate video and like someone's like she's not gonna wash her hair because there's like five pounds of hair fibers on her head and it's true it's not a lie <laughs> sadly and then, imagine how much money she would save <clears throat> on product cost you wanna see what i'm wearing you know putting that stuff those fibers are not it's cheap Friday. I'm in and love. she puts a I'm lot really ha i'm in a in good a mood lot. which is good so don't ruin it and look no i'm not because look at how pinpoint they are so, I mean, she's not going anywhere. Why? I want to let you know my fiber. sometimes my weird. <laughs> if I'm like she, this, I maybe I missed something. Maybe she I'm not on anything out. because when I am, I'm more just like, you know, talkative and. <laughs> Do you guys feel like these reality <laughs> vlogs are like the new soap operas of the past? On Canada Day. <laughs> I got to get my second dose of vaccine. Okay. Back in my time, my last had, like, messages. Um, days of our lives. And stuff um, like when that. I called General the centers, hospital. they said he, they, I remember um, watching General Hospital to leave a message. So I my did that, and they it. leave a number if you're like really need somebody. Like, you know, if you're hold on, I'll show you what I'm wearing. People check, brace well, yourselves. Well, apparently, that's people. how people could tell yesterday. Brace yourselves. So. Chantal <coughs> is entering the room to show us her outfit. I'm serious. Okay, right. here she goes. She looks good. Looks very good. Can I don't mind that sofa? outfit. Yes. I can't see. But I don't mind that outfit. I Is think it fits you shirt? properly. It looks fine. I would have probably went with maybe those your pants just because of the fupa thing. If you don't, don't go, nah, 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 honey, nah. We, we don't want to see it dance. We would be, no. We don't need I to like see that. I feel like people are like, why are you acting so happy? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with this. So she's like, I gotta entertain these members. They're paying every month, and I'm not even giving food. them anything different from what they had. I gotta start dancing. <clears throat> Skinny legend. I look cute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I... No, it's not new. <coughs> Ooh. Hold on. Oh my, this is why I do the edibles. I flashed you again. This is what I do when I take the edibles. So I'm, I'm assuming she took edibles. Well, not right now, Peeper. I haven't. Oh, okay. Right now, right now, people. Or at least not that I know of. I don't know. I feel like anxious, but I'll be okay. Not that I know of. It covers when you pull it down. So wow. when I don't pull it down, it doesn't cover so it. So maybe the, her next question is going to be... Um, um, did I, did I have any, right? Because now it's our responsibility <laughs> to make her aware if she took an edible today. Huh. Versus smoking Dawn. Like if I smoke a cannabis versus edible, obviously like the next day my, my lungs... <clears throat> My legs are bruised and there's spots on them from the... I don't even know what that is yet. Savage is awesome. What is she doing? Oh, she... Oh, she took her inhaler. Okay. Never seen anybody do that much. Do you think she gets that in her lungs? I don't know. Like I used to use an inhaler, and it seemed more extreme when I would do it. <laughs> like I would like really like breathe in real heavy, hold my breath. That's the thing, Sofa. Like I guess it, when you do that breathing, it helps your lungs get back to doing what they gotta do. Oh God, no, yeah. no. Being things private, it's like a problem. Wait, I, I don't know why. Yeah. I swear. It's all from... <laughs> How did my mood turn from angry? I was angry? 
I wasn't angry. You weren't? Uh, we all beg to differ. Was I? Hmm. Okay, people, she's caking on the stage makeup. Um, I, I actually act was a uh, dancer. I danced in jazz. Um, I started at a very young age. Pretty much as soon as I could walk, because I always danced. Like, my mom always said I was always dancing, you know, even when I was a baby. And I did jazz up until I was, like, 19 years old. And, uh, yeah, we used to do the stage performances and the amount of makeup we would have on ourselves. And when you see pictures of me in those pictures, because I'm not on a stage, it's a picture, I, I literally look like a, a freaked out clown. Like, <laughs> It's <laughs> like, you're so bad. But, we, you know, when you're looking from an audience and you're looking at the stage, it looks okay. Because you're quite a distance away, so you need that extremeness. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's starting to put that concealer on her face. And I really don't know why. Like, I can understand doing a little bit, like, in the cheek area and stuff because she is rosy. But I think she has nice skin. Like, I don't, I don't see anything about her. That makes me scream out, girl, you need to cake on the foundation and concealer. I don't see anything about her that screams that out to me. I think she has a nice face. She has a nice appearance. It's not like she's, you know, not attractive. But then she cakes on this makeup and it's, it takes away the natural beauty that you can accent with makeup rather than, I don't know, what's the word, um... In a disguise. I'm on one on when I'm on that stuff. Is the chat you saw me yesterday? Time. I'm like this, like, and like my eyes are like. So yeah, I see that now. Like I, I rewatched that one stream a little bit of it with the dress. Yeah. Yes, the and one then, that she did the fupa dance for us. Did you guys recover from that? Uh, I'm hi, not Angie. quite recovered from it yet. The gold dress? No, uh... What? Who pulled the boot? I'm always flashing you that. No yeah. kidding. I have a fast forward. Oh, I Hurry stopped right when she's going to stick her <sighs> finger in her nose. Every addict is different and everybody is different, Carla. <clears throat> like, why are you comparing others? That's just wrong. Um, I don't know. Is addict the word? I'm putting makeup on and trying to be positive. Like, Nothing wrong why with is that, that honey? insulting? Look, I went out last night with the ladies and I had a blast. I felt yeah. beautiful. I felt good. I had a good time. And why not? Nothing wrong. The women like to fix themselves up. And men too. They like to dress Don't up and have started. a good time. Yeah, you know, once <coughs> in a while. Yeah, what? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, she's giving us the, the confused look. Like, what the hell's wrong with you people? Why are you doing this? Oh, okay, I'm fine. Ugh, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Why are you typing that out there? Why are you shaming me? I need uh, some kind of... Therapy? Did I hear therapy? Kind of like a black color for my eyebrows. Don't you agree? Like a dark black? No, or... I mean... I. Maybe like one little, sh like a charcoal -y type of, I don't know, the real black when she puts it, it's too much. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't forced to do anything. Maybe she should go for microblading. Know? I'm seeing that everywhere and I'm loving it. I take responsibility for like, my own I, actions. I think it's a and... great idea. And it looks really good. Um, stop looking for validation from others. I know. It's true. 
I'm just always looking for like ways to feel good, you know? And um It's not healthy. It's like learning new coping mechanisms, but <clears throat> I mean, the pollution on my legs. Every time I scratch myself, I'm leaving these. It's like one of those things that is things. driving me crazy because I don't <laughs> really know if I'm using things to. If it's just because they're like addictive, or if there's a re emotional reason, or you know, because. I imagine that that's complicated to figure out, you know, something that draws someone to someone, you know, something like that. Um, it's probably very complicated. I don't imagine it's like one particular thing. I'm sure there's like a lot of things in that, in that, you know, circle that are involved in, in what makes that happen. Yes, I know people. People, places, and things. Yeah, Robert. My eyebrows are lighter. I gotta darken them. Peeper Popper, let the record show I have not criticized her for the messy room. <clears throat> yes, I 100 million percent need therapy. She's been saying never she has lots of it. memory and doesn't remember things. She said in the same it. stream more than just today, it's scary. I just want but you I, to I seek dread, help. Dread it. You know? So bad. Karate Joe. But it's no not what orange I want Juliet. Point, right? Just go to the because local park and Actually, walk. no, it is. I want to get better. And Chantal, we want you to get better. We do, um, but you have to start queen. looking at yourself. Really. I mean, this came on live just in time, right before I got off of work, so I was, like, excited. <laughs> I'd like to be able to get my, my video out so quick. This is by the quickest video I'll post. Okay, watch that. I think. Okay, so she's coloring in the eyebrows. Good. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, just don't keep doing it. See, it looks really good that way, right? So just. I want to walk a lot today. Stop putting more. Get rid of some of that. Get rid. Just, get get some natural yeah, endorphins. Don't, yeah, don't. Working put our more. brains. Seriously. It looks fine. Right. God, I wish you would take that, that eyeliner off? off and stop putting it on. I don't know why it just doesn't. It's wow. too much, but whatever. That's what she mm -hmm. goes for. That's her look. Mm. I left my girl back home. So yeah, moments of weakness. I call BB and I'm like, I just want to cuddle. <gasps> oh, like Chantal, no. you have to be happy with being alone. Hashtag free BB. Oh, Learn to stop know yourself Chantal. and love yourself. I'm like, why Stop did I, torturing what's this wrong man, with me? Like, if in fact you are talking to him. Why are you so amazing? And it's true, right? It's almost like she's trying to butter BB up for something. Like, she's trying to set something up. I don't know. I, I'm not sure why, like, BB is so prominent right now when she's, like, going, I don't know. This is, like, I don't know. She seems, like, fixated on him while pizza's in Midwest the other room, Moxie. her best friend. Look at her! Ready, set, no, 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 no. I don't want to see you do that. Okay. Lipstick no. not bad. She again, kind of like overlining those corners. Just like she does with her, her, her eyeliner. I mean, she really goes in there. Warmer? The eyeliner. All the way into the nose. Really? I like the lipstick. That's good. 
And you know she'll you probably like take it one? off and try like three more. Because we know our Chantal. Mona Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chicken wing bun. It does because my hair's black. The chicken wing bun. My hairline's bun. not too bad, I guess. You it's as good fine. as it's gonna get. Oh, she put a redder lipstick. For this kind of situation. Now. Red alert. Wait, no, we should say Kmart Blue Light Special. Chantal has selected a new I'm shade of red lipstick. I'm not sure if my battery pop lipstick. is charged. Let me see. If you come right now to the cart, we will give you a 25% off discount on that shade. Right? Bring your body, baby. I can bring you that. Is this on? I think it's dead. Yeah. But this is like a battery pack. You can't plug it um, into your wall? So. Oh, and yeah, I guess it's somewhere I could charge else. it, I guess, right now. Let me try. Let me see. Any gas? I actually don't. But I need to she's in her car right. now. She's got the Hold shades on. on, her red lipstick, <laughs> and this eyebrows are done, and she's got her chicken wing hairdo. Why I think is there she's a crusty hot dog it. in here? There's a crusty hot dog in her car. 12 volt USB. Bertha right now. Oh, I have Kleenex. She said she looks like That's right, when I need right to go now. to the bathroom on the road. Oh, here we go. Blow the news and tell us about your bowel movements. Now she's left the car. Here she comes back. And she's got a bag of Cheetos. Just because you're paying book doesn't mean you get to be an asshole. No, she's right about that. She's right about that, but no, that's what's it. an asshole. All right. They're not bad. One person can think one not thing, bad. and another person can think They're something pretty good. entirely different. Did you see them, Joe? <laughs> ah, what in hell? Oh. The, the things oh. you say. You're unbelievable. All right, guys. Whew. So we are 57 minutes into that video and um, it's quite the ride. I have to say there was quite a bit of content, which was nice. I hope I got to entertain you guys a little bit, you know, nothing like a high react, right? Um, she uh, is very confusing. She keeps talking about um, her trying to contact a recovery center or clinic and, however, she had a doctor's appointment, which uh, I'm trying to remember was yesterday. She tried to call them. Well, she had overslept, missed the appointment, and then all this issues with rescheduling it and them calling the office and all this stuff. My question to you is, do you think that her health is truly a priority considering the fact that she decided to oversleep? over a doctor's appointment that could have potentially set her on the course for success whether it was with recovery a clinic her health whatever and that is if it was a medical doctor she was going to naturally i don't know i have to look into it i i would think the doctor's appointment would be the the way to go i mean it was right there that appointment you know she could have expressed you know i have a problem I need help. So that was an interesting part of it. Again, I don't know what type of doctor it was. You guys probably know. But um, if it was a medical doctor, it would have made all the sense in the world for her to, to have done that. To have gone today, addressed the issue head on. If there is, in fact, an issue. Or if, in fact, she is actually trying to address the problem. Um, we don't know. These all three scenarios, we don't know. Um... I honestly wish her well. I, I want to see nothing more than us to be able to celebrate in her successes and her turning her health around. I mean, what can you imagine what a success story that would be if she did that? I mean, she could, like, blow up. I mean, she could make that happen. I mean, any of us could, right? You know, we'd have a sad, you know, story and all this stuff you have on YouTube, her vlog, all these years, all these things. And then she has this momentous moment where she goes on a journey and completely turns her life around that would be amazing 
I think everybody would celebrate that. I think it would be a good thing. And I'm sure a lot of us out there wish that that would happen. Don't worry, Chantal. We'll still have content. Thank you, everybody. And Chantal, think of me as that friend you love to hate. Okay? And to all of you out there who watch me, I can't thank you enough. I absolutely love the comments and the engagement. I just <laughs> enjoy it so much. Really, I do. Thank you so much. I swear to God, I don't want to get like emotional about it, but it's been fun. And uh, remember, this week, I'm probably not going to post. So hang in there, have a good time, and enjoy the week, and celebrate safely. Take care, and Chantal, be safe. Support